Hello, welcome to Lots of Camera Science Demo. Today we're going to take a look at pH indicators that you can find in your own kitchen. Hello, my name is Dr. James Campbell and today we're going to have some fun with acids and bases and find out about pH indicators that you can find in your own kitchen. But before we start the demo, here are the basics that you need to know. Firstly, pH is a measure of the active hydrogen or hydronium ion concentration in a liquid like water. Now, adding an acid to pure water will increase the number of active hydrogen ions, and adding a base to pure water will decrease the number of active hydrogen ions. Secondly, some coloured compounds have the useful property of changing colour according to the pH of a solution, so we can use the colour of these compounds to test how acidic or alkali a solution is. OK, now for the science demo. Uh, what I did was I took some red cabbage that I bought in Ikea, some cooked red cabbage, and I steeped about a dessert um, spoonful of uh, red cabbage in cold water in a cup. Um, and then left it for about half an hour, and afterwards I strained off the liquid and left it to settle until it went clear. And that gave us this nice pink solution of red cabbage pH indicator that we have here. Uh, now this solution is slightly acidic, I know that because it's pinky red colour, and that's probably because cooks tend to add acetic acid or vinegar to cooked red cabbage during the cooking process. So you may also remember, uh, if you ever saw the first ever Dr. Camel Science demo, that um, there's something in the kitchen called sodium bicarbonate, which is a handy source of base, or which will make an alkali solution. So I've made an, an alkali solution of sodium bicarbonate here. And uh, watch what happens when I add uh, a drop of it to our red cabbage pH indicator. I don't know if you saw that, but it's got a sort of blue colour now. So that means the solutions turn slightly alkali. Now, uh, the interesting thing here is that we can actually turn it back to being pink by lowering the pH again, by adding some, some acid. So um, I'm going to use lime for that. I'm actually going to have a cheeky tequila before I, uh, before I uh, use up the lime. Mm. So here's the last of the line, um, and uh, I'm going to add that. So watch what watch what happens in, to the colour. Let's squeeze in the lime juice. Should go back to being pink, which I think it has. Look at that, amazing. So we uh, we lowered we increased the pH by adding base, and it went blue. We decreased the pH again by adding lime juice, and uh, the citric acid made it more acidic, and it's gone back to being pink. So um, I guess that's the fun bit of the demo over. Uh, let's try and explain what happened. Right, red cabbage contains a family of pigments called anthocyanins. Now, anthocyanins are found in many plants. They're found in, uh, they're responsible for the colours in pansies, uh, red grape skins, aubergines, black currants, uh, red cabbage. Loads of plants contain anthocyanins. Now, anthocyanins, the, the, the structure of the molecule is dependent on the pH of the solution. And the, the colours of light that the molecule absorbs is dependent on the structure. So you change the pH, you change the structure, you change the structure, and you change the colour. And that's why they're useful as pH indicators. Now, this phenomenon of anthocyanins is responsible for um, the fact that uh, az azaleas are, uh, they, they come in blue and a pink variety, and the, the colour is dependent entirely on the pH of the soil in which they're growing. So when they grow in alkali soils, they're, they're blue colour, and when they're grown in acidic soils, the, the flowers have a pink colour. Um, also, red, red cabbage is sometimes known as blue cabbage in places with alkali soils. Right, I hope all that made sense. Um, if you've uh, got any red cabbage and sodium bicarbonate and lime in your kitchen, then you could try it out yourself. Um, also, I've heard that broccoli soup, anecdotally, broccoli soup turns colour from green to red if, if you add lemon or lime juice to it. I haven't tried it out myself. If you want to try that and let me know what happens, or if you've got any questions or ideas for future science demos, then drop me an email at uh, dr.campbell at jambell.com. That should be down there right now. And um, that's all for this time. So uh, thanks for watching. See you. Bye.